knowledge about the eclipse that you'd like to share with us? Um, today is the solar eclipse. It's very special because the moon is going to cross, orbit the earth straight in direct line with the sun first, then the moon, then the earth. So it may not seem possible how the moon can cover the sun. The sun is pretty far away and the moon is closer so we can see the moon bigger and we see the sun's Mall, so that's how it can cover it. The moon could cover the entire sun just because it's so far away. Right, right, right. Okay. And that just leaves a shadow yeah. all over the earth. You're dropping some, some math right now. Yeah. <laughs> the eclipse is when the moon, the moon covers the sun. The sun. That's when the fire vendors lose their fire. It happens because um, the moon, how the earth orbits and the moon goes around the earth, the earth orbits the sun and the moon goes around the earth and, and the moon would get in between the uh, sun and earth uh -huh. so, to cover it up. The, the moon covers the sun. The moon covers the sun. <laughs> and does it does it look like what you thought it was? And the look earth like? covers the moon. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I'm I'm still can't believe. I'm just honestly surprised that a you can't see the eclipse without these on. Like right. even like. You can't even see it at all. Like, if you didn't have these or you didn't know, you you wouldn't be able to tell that was happening. So, isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Do you want me to wear the glasses or not? Yeah, come on. Okay, wear the glasses. Hold on, you guys. Jesus. Okay, I'm so glad we all got to come out here and watch the eclipse. And thanks to Mariah Mitchell, we all got glasses, and it's been an amazing day. Yay! Yay! How would you describe it? I'd really describe it as, honestly, just orange. I just describe it as an orange circle, half circle, or crescent. Got it. Does it look kind of like the moon? It. The yes. Yeah? Yes. It looks kind of like the moon. Yeah, it looks like a little crescent moon. Mm -hmm. And it can, and, and uh, today in Nantucket, we'll have 96% um to see the eclipse. Yeah. Wilson, was it like what you expected? No. No? What did you expect? I expected to be like um, only like the sun, the moon going over the sun, but, but I didn't know it would be all these other things too. All these other things? Like what? Like the wind's getting colder and yeah. like... And the oh, light so. looks different. Yeah. Right? And like kind of the colors of things look different. It's yeah, more sunny but like colder. Geez. Is this the first eclipse you've ever seen? Yes. yes. Is it is it what you thought it would be? Yes. Yeah. And, and much more. And much more? Yeah. Did anything surprise you? That the sun looks much more golden than it does. Oh, okay. I was gonna say that it's actually got way more colder than you would expect. Yep. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it feels uh, it gets colder and it kind of gets more eccentric and the vibe goes up because of the uh, impending eclipse. I'm Charlie Jordan. Charlie Jordan, where are you from? I am from Cape Cod, Massachusetts. I'm oh. from Harwich. So you wanted to see it from Nantucket? Yeah. Uh, I heard about the Mariah Mitchell and I decided that it would be a fun opportunity for me to bring my telescope out and see what I can see. I love that. Now tell us about your telescope. So this is a Celestron Astromaster 130EQ with a Canon Rebel T3i or camera on it. And I have a Barlow lens from Celestron on it. And this is a solar filter which blocks out the harmful uh, light and it brings down the light level of the sun. My brother had a telescope from my papa 
And I took it out one night and I thought it was really cool. So I started doing it more and more. And then for Christmas, I got my bigger telescope, which is much more powerful. And I've been into it ever since. And do you use it regularly for the stars? And uh, yeah, I yeah. use it all the time. I view planets and I view star systems. about this solar eclipse that really surprised you? Um, I do know that in 1970 there was a pa Nantucket was in a path of totality so it was completely dark all over Nantucket and the steamship was so over a flood that they just left 800 people on Hyannis. It, like, it was not even like summer and everyone was flocking here to see the solar eclipse. Oh wow. I, I was here with a group of uh, fellow students uh, from Brown University, March 7th, where Nantucket was the only spot in the Northeast that had a total eclipse of the sun. That's incredible. Yeah, yes. Yeah, we just heard that there were... Oh, that's actual... That's, that's our footage. Oh my goodness. From a Super 8 film. And were you... Were you teaching? Or you were a student? No, I was a student. Oh my God, are you... Are you an astronomer? No. No, no I, I was a physics major, so it was interesting, but... So we heard that the boat, they, ha they gave up on getting people over here on the boat because there were so many people. We took a, a small private plane from Providence, but it's surprising uh, how few people were here. Really? Yes, it was an undiscovered island at that point. But my last eclipse was in 1999. I was in Cornwall. It poured. We could hardly see a thing. We were soaking wet. We stood outside for hours. This is a piece of cake. Even if it's not a whole eclipse, this is great. And do you know um, when the next uh, major I don't know. Okay, I, I won't be alive. <laughs> 2044. Oh, I might still be 20 here. years. My address oh, is 44 Tennessee Avenue. I will be 100 years old in I think 2044. It, I think it's a sign. I think it's a good sign. <laughs> Here's to 2024, That's everybody. right. Thank you. We'll talk to you again then. Let me ask you this. Do you know when the next uh, full eclipse is going to be? I believe it'll be August 22nd, 2044. This is a, like, a once in a uh, time life time thing to say for a while. Just yeah, do you guys actually know when the next pretty major... 2020, 2044. 44, yeah. It's gonna be? 20 years. Yeah. Uh, in 20 years. Yes, in 20 years. Where do you guys think you're gonna be in 20 years? Uh, 26. You're gonna be 25 yeah. years old? You'll yeah. Be no, he's gonna be 25, 26, I don't know. Where do you think you'll be? You Where? You'll, yeah. Where Maybe. Where would you like to watch the next eclipse from? Mm, New York. 20, in 20 years from now. Oh, I, I can't really. I don't really. I'm not sure. You're not sure. Maybe one of the places where the there's this like line that goes across us North America where you can see the total eclipse. I might go there for it. Um, probably in college. <laughs> <laughs> or past college, probably past college. You might be past college. How old are yeah. you now? I'm 10. You're 10, so yeah. you'll be 30. Yeah. Yeah. It's got a good many years. <laughs> so why don't you all tell me where you think you're going to be in 20 years? New York. New York, I like it. Nantucket. Nantucket. Yeah. Florida. Florida. Nantucket. Nantucket. <laughs> all right. What about you guys? Uh, Here. Uh, I would like to watch it from here, right from here. here. All right. What about you? Um, this little guy turn around. You're on TV. Um, in Florida. Florida. That's two people today who want to watch it from Florida. Nantucket. Oh. Nantucket. Well, we won't be able to see a Nantucket. I thought until 2055. 44. Oh, yeah. Close. You have anything else to say? Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you. It looks awesome. We'll see you in 20 years. Yeah. <laughs>